All right, we're back. It's two to one right now in favor of the Peets. The Peterborough Peets are in the house. And you know what? Um, there was right near the end of that period, like, I, I was walking down this. Did it go in, but we were like a half a second late? I don't know. I, I, I missed it because I was up over there eating pizza. <laughs> really? <laughs> so I, mi I missed it. But it was still a good period. I want to no, say. No, I mean, where's my pizza? Where's your, I, I don't know. I don't know. Where's my, where's my media pass to get up in the box upstairs? <laughs> just, you know. Um, certainly staying. Um, what are, it was a good period. It was, I want to say it was a good I, I period. I don't think it, no. Like okay, so we're down by one. I don't think it was a horrible period. No. I think they've still got it in them to make this happen. And I think um, so. obviously the conversations are happening. What do we got to do to step up our game? I think that is one I got of a the few good ideas. One of the best first periods <laughs> this was I have seen the Sarnia Sting play this I, season. I was expecting it to be to go a little worse than that, so I, I'm not un, uh, unhappy with that particular performance. You know, I thought there was a couple of things we did well. I think we, <coughs> pardon me, we um, we took it to them strong. You know, like I think yes. we, we were not getting pushed off the pucks like we uh, have um, in in the past with some of the bigger teams, um, which was good. I still think that one of our struggling points is the, it's it's that sort of, it's that communication piece, right? It's that. Uh, I, you know, those short little passes that go nowhere, you know, because the other guy doesn't see it coming or well, we're that stuff like team. that. It's that communication piece, I think. I don't know. that It almost seems like that's the breakdown because there's a lot of little passes. We're either underpassing it or overpassing it. We're not hitting it right on the stick and stuff. And I think that when we see some of the more disciplined teams, uh, including Peterborough, I mean, their, their passes are crisp. You know, they, they tend to stretch a little further. They're not these short little blind passes, you know, to we, some guy three feet away or four feet away. So I think, you know, we, if we can we have that been We out, have been weak in our passes I, all season. I would say 100%. We're either passing them and there's nobody home or there's somebody waiting and we're not passing. But I don't think that's a skill issue. I think, the, uh, you know, I, I want to say because passing is very much about communicating to the other players on yes. your team about where you're going to go with this. You know what I mean? And then someone has to be there. And if, you know, if you're not used to playing with the other players on your team or there's some um, well, you, communication breakdown, then that's when these passes don't get picked up. They don't get made properly. Things like that. And I think did, it's communication. Did, did you issues. watch last week's broadcast? Uh, <laughs> Jake and I were talking about no, that. And, and, and uh, maybe we I should said, have. There's no, but there's that. You're right. There's that thing where like some of these guys are playing together for the first time. They're new sure. to each other, and I always talk about it. Relationships. You got to build relationships with each other. Yeah. And we talked about Wayne Gretzky, and yeah. um, he knew where absolutely every player was. And it's almost like being the captain of the enterprise. You have to know yeah. how your crew is going to react 100%. when you're making a move out there. 100%. And I think, it, 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 you know, it, you're right. It, it very much is that. And I think if you look at it, we have probably two really good players that I that have what I call good ice sense. Right. You know what I mean? Um, if you watch Eric Kjorth, he, uh, he tends to be in the right place at the right time, I think. He's a, he, he, he seems to have a good sense of where the puck is going to be. Uh, and then I think uh, uh, Roth, I thought he was really good at, at seeing the puck and, and knowing where it was and knowing where it was going. I thought he played, he showed some strong leadership in that respect. But, I mean, it needs to extend to far more than one or two players. I think we need to get that, you know. And that will come with time. It'll come with experience. It'll come with like you said, building those relationships uh, amongst the players on the team. So, yeah, we'll see where it goes. How are we doing on our blue line? It's still Well, obviously. I think that was still a struggle, you know. Yeah. I mean, you look at, I, I think the one thing I'm so happy about was we managed to keep our tempers in check and stay out of the penalty box, which was, uh, I think, one of the strengths of that first period. We played, you know, there were some good stronger hits. They were clean, though. Yeah. And I think it wasn't sloppy play that was going on. So I think we stayed out of the penalty box because of that, which was really a good thing. It shows. Um, we took a couple of hard hits as well. We did. That um, I think sometimes you take those hits and you're waiting for the call, and it's not there, and you get 
what I saw a couple of times here, uh, I forget who it was down at the end here, um, somebody took a hit, and he took it, and he just got right back up and kept going. He's like, I'm yeah. not waiting for a call here. Well, it's not soccer. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, there, whoa. <laughs> somebody just kicked the ball over your head. <laughs> exactly. Right. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, anyway, yeah, I think, uh, you know, we gave it as well as we got, but we managed to stay out of the penalty box, which was a good thing. Um, I, I think that's another thing we really have to make sure we're doing. Um, but we failed to capitalize on, you know, the couple opportunities that we ended up getting, uh, unfortunately, because we spent that last penalty or that last power play, we spent uh, better than half of that in our own end. And I think, you know, uh, you no, know, nobody it, was getting the Wendy's burger no, out of that one. When you get a, yeah, <laughs> nobody was getting a Wendy's burger. <laughs> But when you're playing a penalty or a power play in your own zone, that's not a good thing. And it's an opportunity. And we don't play well at those kinds of opportunities. Well, and you're right. You know, you, you have to uh, take advantage of the opportunities. But sure. I also see a little more. We need to be creating some more of our own opportunities so. out there. We certainly can't stand by. Neither one of these teams need to stand by and wait for the opportunity to present itself. No. Uh, you have to go and. Well, uh, we need to shoot the puck too, right? I mean, that's well, the other thing. When you've got. When you got guys in there waiting to for that perfect shot uh, or that perfect opportunity to shoot the puck, uh, and and then when they don't have it, they pass it off, and then you get you know get this juggling thing going on in the forward zone. Yeah. I don't like that either. That that makes me nuts. Put the puck on the net. Yeah. You know, look don't for shoot those it big straight bounce. at the guy. No, nah, you're never going to put a puck through a goalie. <laughs> I, I've said it before. No I'll way. say it again. You're never going to put a puck through a goalie. <laughs> it just doesn't work that way. There's Proof. some physics that are, are going to prevent that from happening. Prove so. him wrong. <laughs> exactly. Somebody please prove him wrong. <laughs> uh, no, we don't want that to happen. That's no, obviously that would you know, be bad. you got to aim for the meshy thing. Right? The meshy thing. Uh, it's, that, that's, it's lined in red. That's you know how what you know I, what it is. Uh, let's give a shout-out to uh, the bagpipes that are coming out. Uh, always paying respect to our armed forces forces and and uh starting fire rescue and you know anybody in that uh responders position yeah there's another th thing that this thing do a really good job of in, in our community uh shots on goal 16 to 11 it reflects on that um mm -hmm. one of the things i've noticed about this thing they're getting about 22 to 28 shots on goal per game and that's got to go up. You can't win a game like that. Jake way. was talking. That needs to be 35 to 40 yeah, per I'm game sure in is. order to, and not even just to win, but to be getting those goals. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a it's an odds. I mean, it's a simple odds thing, man. You put the more shot, the more quality shots you put on the goal, the more likelihood you're going to get a goal. Yeah. You know, and and uh, you know, it, it's probably five to one. So if you want to score four goals, you got to be putting 25, 30 shots on the net like uh, i mean my math doesn't add up a little bit but you get i know the, what you're you saying get the, the point it's is, a numbers right? game it is a numbers game at the end of the day the ones that count are the ones that go in though right and, and, and that's you know what and, and 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 let's not forget you know for every shot you put on the goal uh you know there's one or two or three potential rebounds you know that that could create opportunities because that's when unexpected things happen and that's when opportunity opens right. up but if you're not taking that initial shot, it, you're you're just never going to get those those kinds of opportunities when you're when you're swarming their net. Yeah. You know, and well, we're just not making use of that. There's not a lot of time to think out there when you're moving as no, fast as enough, these young fellas are. Enough. Yeah, don't um, put so, me on the ice because so I would never. I, pfft, that would be bad. There's a halftime show. <laughs> <There's> a, <laughs> Right. I'd be right there with you, buddy. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, those two guys, what are they? Yeah. Oh, the clowns are coming to town. It's great. Send them in. Uh, when you're a goaltender uh, in between those pipes, too, it can be frustrating when uh, likely you are watching what's happening out there and you're seeing these things, and then you're the guy who's got to pick it up and go, oh, and I'm working yeah, hard again, yeah. and I'm well, that, maybe working harder than I should be. That second Peterborough goal was uh, was a, a, a bad line change where we hung our goaltender out to dry, and that's really what happened there. Yeah, well, we can't um, keep doing that. Yeah. Another friend of yours? Yeah, 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 that's one of my uh, good friend of mine. Right. Okay. She's one of my stage wives. She's oh, been on, we've been on stage right, together. Right, so, anyway. right. Anyway. 
You have a, a pretty understanding I, wife. I do have a very understanding <laughs> wife. Yes, I do. Well, let's see what happens when they come back out here. Uh, yep. Just wrapping up a bit of a ceremony here with our, our, uh, our friends playing the pipes again out on the ice. And we'll come back and see what happens between the pipes. Speaking of pipes, 2-1 to one right now in favor of the Peterborough Peets. Are you predicting a win? I, well, I, I don't know if I'm predicting a win yet. I want to see a win. I'm, I'm hopeful. Let's, let's say I'm hopeful for a win um, because I think uh, this is some of the better, some better hockey than we've seen played from the Sting in a little bit. And I think, you know, uh, this game is an opportunity for us. Right. So. Well, agreed it was a strong period. We both agree, which is rare, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that uh, this was the strongest first period that the Sarnia Sting have brought to the arena yet at home or anywhere for Fair that enough. matter. So if they can come back out now and show some of those strengths that they've shown last weekend in the second and third period, I think we can see a positive outcome here I agree. for the Sarnia Sting. All right, well, they're coming back out here. Wow, hey, if you win the 50-50. 2800 bucks. that's a good gig, uh, man. Brownstone's after the game. 100%, I'm there. And uh, You mean when I win? Yes. 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 Very good. Fair enough. That's what I meant. <laughs> All right, for the show live on location, keep watching, everybody. This is my friend Jay Peckham. Go Sting, go! We'll talk to you soon.